Okay, uh, have you ever gone into a film thinking that, you know, it's just going to be this one thing, you know, kind of just a little silly comedy sort of thing with maybe a little dramatic elements, but then by the end of the film, you just think to yourself, oh my god, I might have just watched one of my favorite films of all time. That's something that I just have gone through. So let, let's just get into it. So I saw this particular film three months ago. As a matter of fact, I saw it on the night of my birthday when I turned 22. I had a small little party with like my cousins and my family and all that and it was really nice. So later that night, you know, my cousins had left, my parents were asleep and during the nighttime, I like to just scroll through like Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that. So this particular night, I was scrolling through HBO Max and there's a list of films that are you know, shown and it says like, you've watched this film, so you'll like, and then it shows another, you know, line of other films you can watch. And sure enough, the film that it recommended me was Eugenio Derbez's 2013 film, No Se Exceptan Devoluciones, but in English, it translates to Instructions Not Included. So just to give you a little bit of a synopsis of the film, it's about a Mexican playboy who is living in Alcapoco, having the time of his life, and then an old flame of his shows up with potentially his daughter. And she basically just leaves him, so now he has to take care of this baby girl. So of course, I'm not going to spoil the film for you because I definitely want you guys to check this out, but... For a majority of the film, I kind of had an idea of what was going to happen. So I had an idea of how the film might end. So, you know, I'm watching the film and it gets to the ending and it seems like it's starting to wrap up. And I'm kind of thinking, I think I know what's going to happen. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And then sure enough, I... Okay, let me, oh god, and I was just sitting on my couch for like five or six minutes just crying. Again, it was like late at night, it was probably like maybe one in the morning and I'm just bawling my eyes out and I can't remember the last time I felt like that especially after watching a film I don't, i've never had that feeling i was just kind of thinking well i'll cry it out i'll maybe forget about it in the morning you know and that's yeah so i wake up my face is all like crusty from all the dry tears i was just completely drained like my entire body was just like I mean, I could not get out of bed. Like, it was just, it was insane. I've never had a feeling like this. And what was even crazier is that day, I also had to get my second COVID shot. So I was going to feel even more drained and more tired and all that. So it was like, yeesh, jeez. And, you know, my mom is driving me to the place. And I'm literally just like sitting in the passenger seat, just like, completely zoned out. So I get my COVID shot, I head back home, my brother is coming back home from work, and I literally go up to him and I say, you've got to see this film. You've, you've got to watch this film. And you know, he was like, oh yeah, I'll watch it this weekend when my girlfriend comes into town and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it for sure. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, just let me know when you're going to watch it because I got to watch it again because I think in the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe I was just tired and I got all emotional or maybe it was, you know, I, I don't know. I just like, cause again, I've never watched a film that just broke me like that. So later that weekend, I see the film again with my brother and his girlfriend and the ending happens. 
same thing. Just, just broke me. I, I, I don't know. And what's even worse was that I had work like literally in 30 minutes. So I literally had to go to work while I was just still gathering myself. It was, just, oh gosh. Oh, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. Just, just, just watch this film, please. It's currently streaming for free on HBO Max. So that's where you should watch it. I don't know for how long. I'll put some more info in the description below. But again, thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah.